Hey everybody, what's up? My name is Nick, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how we can make a custom block called Custom Reviews, and we're going to add this product rating and review right here on the product display page. This is going to be just using Liquid and then um, Shopify Metafields. So without further ado, let's get into it. The first thing I'm going to do is go into my duplicated theme, and I'm going to look at the product template because I want to determine what the first um, section that we're rendering here because this UI is all going to be done right in here. So if I open this file and I look at this main product, that looks like it's where we need to be. So I'm going to go to the main product dot liquid section, and this is using the DOM theme uh, I should have mentioned. And now what we're going to do is look for a switch statement where they uh, a switch conditional statement where they're going through our blocks. So I'm just going to go like this and look for, here it is. So in the product, main product section, we're looping through these section dot blocks and basically rendering when it's the correct case. So um, let's look down here at the bottom and you'll see, all right, so the schema, this is where all these blocks are actually being defined. And the first one you'll see is for app, so that this section can support app blocks. Um, but what we're going to do is come in here and just create a new one. Oops. Okay, cool. So I'm going to copy this type and make sure you add this comma after. And I'm going to go back up to the previous blocks section. Here it is. And right below this app block, I'm just going to add um, another one. And I'm going to paste this type in. And, and then I'm going to add some HTML. And so let's see what we're going to add here. The first thing I'm going to do is add a div. Okay, now this part's important. So we're setting some variables here, this dash dash rating, rating max, rating decimal. But you'll notice in this one, this is actually uh, going to be liquid, and we're going to get this from a meta field. So I'm going to do product.metafields.custom.product.rating.value. Now, if you're wondering what this is, don't worry about it. We're going to go and create it after we finish editing the code. But this is the syntax, the liquid syntax for getting a meta field that we want to add to our HTML right here. Okay, and I just did the same thing here, but this time within a P tag. And you'll see that these are almost the same product, meta fields custom product, but one is review and one is rating. Now, if you're wondering why one of them is hyphen and one of them is lowercase, it's because the product rating actually is come standard already in the DOM theme. Um, so there is a way you can enable to get those stars that we see here. Um, and that's actually what I'm kind of ripping off of, but I wanted to make this uh, its own individual block with the review as well. And I just think it looks better personally, but obviously that's your discretion. So now that we've added our HTML, we're looking for our meta fields that don't exist yet. And we've added our block custom reviews down into the schema down here. The next thing we need to do uh, is just add some styles. So I've got a bunch of styles here and I'm just gonna copy and paste these at the top of the file. And again, um, make sure that you click the link in the description so that you can get all the code. I have it in a GitHub link. So I'm gonna come up to the top of the page here and I'm just gonna paste all this in. So the main thing I'm going to point out is that it's using those um, variables that we created and a lot more. So it's doing some calculations so that it knows uh, which 
I don't know how many stars, I should say, to fill out. So after that, we can save this file, and I think that we're done for the most part with the code. So <clears throat> now all we need to do is actually go in and create our meta fields that we're trying to use. So I'm gonna come back out here, and to get to meta fields, you're gonna go to settings, um, custom data, and then this is gonna be on the product page, so we're gonna do products, and then you're gonna see product review, product rating. So these are two that I've already added, but I'm gonna show you how to do it. All you gotta do is click add definition, and it creates this page right here. Um, and then you just wanna create one for product review. And for the code to match exactly what mine is, it needs to be product dash review. And um, I selected multi-line text. And then the other one for the product rating, notice this one is underscore product underscore rating. So just make sure you follow mine exactly or otherwise change it in the code. And then this is using an integer so that we can just put in the number of stars it should show between one and five. And now that you have that, we can actually go to the product and actually add them. So you come to the products here and then find a product that you wanna add this to. Um, I'm gonna add it to this t-shirt. I think it's already added actually. If I scroll down to the bottom here, you're gonna see a list of all the meta fields. And here we have this product review. So I've added this um, quote from this happy customer. And I've also added the product rating here as well. So once you've added those to whatever products you wanna add this to, just hit save. And then we're gonna come back to the online store portion and we're going to customize. And I'm gonna to go to the product page. In fact, I'm gonna to go to, don't just go to, I mean, you can just go to the product page here if you go products default, but I actually wanna to go to the product that I know um, has a meta field because I just added it, right? And if it doesn't, there it is. Because if I was viewing a page that didn't, uh, a product that I didn't add a meta field to, it's not gonna show up. But what we're gonna come is come to this product information and then hover down here at the bottom and I'm gonna add a block and right there, boom, custom reviews, that's it. And then you'll see it comes down by default down to the bottom, but I think it would look better uh, further up. So I'm gonna grab it and I'm gonna just drag it up. Maybe, yeah, I think that looks good, like right below the title and between the price. Uh, that'll work. And then we hit save and that's really about it. So the nice thing is, is that when you add this, it'll show obviously for any products that you do have a uh, meta field value for those, um, those items. But if I come down and click on one that doesn't, it's just not gonna show, which is what we want. We don't want broken behavior or anything like that. So this has been adding a uh, custom product rating and review to the product display page. I hope this has been helpful. Um, Follow, uh, subscribe, like, all that stuff for more Shopify-related content, and I'll see you next time.